that stand for New Mexico. You're watching KLB4 News at 6. So is it going to be down here? If we no, it, down it is a one. Oh, so Would you please let us finish? Oh. Do you know? Figuring out how to keep our neighborhoods safe can lead to some tense discussions. And that's exactly what happened when business owners in Albuquerque's Old Town talked about potential solutions recently. That's because it can be difficult to get anybody to agree on anything these days. But a group of neighbors and business owners that you saw there are still moving forward with a plan to fight back against what they say is a growing problem in Old Town. It's the low level type of crime, uh, yeah. vandalism, encampments, petty theft, you name it. But now that is exactly what's in the crosshairs of the relatively new historic Old Town Association. I talked with a man with a very unique perspective on law enforcement about why he says private security is needed in Old Town. It sounds like the same song in Old Town. But there's a new dance and some are still learning the steps. How do, we, how do we get those things from well, the city? We appropriate the funds. So appropriate we stick together. Funds. If we stick appropriate together as one, one unit. As no, one I, unit. I agree. That's exactly okay, what this is. The relatively new historic Old Town Association is organizing. When we need security the most is in the evenings. And turning their attention to hiring private security. Kathy Hyatt described why she wants to pitch in for private security for Old Town a few weeks ago. It's things like people going through in the middle of the night and tipping over flower pot, turning over furniture. There's someone who goes around and anybody that's got an outside faucet, they turn on the faucet and leave it running all night. Reactive uh, approach to crime is, is not gonna solve any of the problems. Cassettis has an interesting perspective from the tap room he runs in Old Town. But I've never heard a tourist walk by and say, I'm never coming back to Old Town because there was a banner hanging off a railing. It was because someone was doing crack in the plaza or had to expose themselves or done whatever. He's also the former New Mexico State Police Chief and understands the realities of policing the metro. They can't be here all the time and it's nice to see a unit cruise through, but the reality is that took all of 10 seconds. I'm a realist. I do not expect APD to sit here all day. It's, it's difficult because they're stacked for calls. Might take them 30 minutes to two hours. Now they are in the process of sending out letters to merchants and residents alike, asking people to kick in their hard-earned money to have a quicker response from a private security company. If we were to get 25 from 167 stores. In the meeting on Monday, they estimated a majority of businesses do not want to pay up. I commend the people that are getting involved or at least contemplating getting involved because sitting on the sidelines and complaining about it is one thing, but actually doing something is another. This new group believes they can make a difference. I think all of us want to come together and get something done, and this is a place to start. Okay. I agree. Yeah. And that's what yeah. we're trying. So Cassetta says what they're trying to do is not so different from what the city is doing in downtown Albuquerque, having businesses pitch in more money, extra money for extra patrols. This would be on a smaller scale and really mm -hmm. controlled by the neighborhood association there if they pull us off. But you're right. This is kind of coming off the heels of we're seeing, you know, uptown, downtown, other parts of the city, business owners forming together to, to take matters into their own hands, I a guess. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, just at the end of June, Albuquerque city leaders say, that uh, they announced a renewed focus to tackle crime uh, in Uptown. The mayor says it's going to involve a dozen new cameras with high resolution photos. They're going to trace suspects when they get into cars. The city also announced they will be hiring new security officers for buses. And the bus issue has been a years long problem, especially up and down the Art Corridor on Central. The Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office says they're going to be stepping up areas uh, there to fight crime. Sheriff John Allen says they're going to have five deputies on foot to patrol along East Central. That's just phase one of the operation. Sheriff hinted at that there's more locations to come. We just don't yeah. exactly know where yet. Well, it's a much more collaborative, collaborative effort now, too. That's for sure. Yep, All absolutely. Right.